All right. Yo. Now we got that out of the way. Let's talk shop. As a family. Okay? All right. Wait, there's an echo? Hello? No, there's not. What? Hello? All right. Let's have a talk. It's 1.30 in the morning. This is a good time for us to have a conversation, shall we? So. All right. So. Let's, let's just start off with being gay. Right? So being gay is, like, really not a good thing. But sometimes... Being gay can actually get you pretty far in life. I think a problem with me is I've been pretty gay for a while. But let me explain. So. Did the notification go off for this channel or no? I hope it didn't. Okay, good. Alright. We can talk. Alright, you just have chat. That's great. Okay, so it's just a few with a few of you, and by a few I mean Renzi and DV Dre. So, as a lot of you know, it's I want I care a lot about making good content, right? Like I want to make stuff that you guys are proud of, and I, and I really do. Like I I want to make stuff that I feel like my own community is proud of. I I do. It's not necessarily a feeling of, you know, I don't, I don't care to fail. And a lot of times I don't mind failing at all. I fail all the time. But what I care more about is pretty much letting you guys down. And I think that's a big problem that I have is I feel like lately I've been letting you down. And I, I hate it because, you know, I mean, we can make the whole timeline – which was like, you know, 2018 to 2019 was like the beginning, right? 2020 to 2022 was like crazy peak COVID, high numbers, like high numbers, super hype. What else? Like collabs. Like, collabs, con people, people constantly coming over, collabs, doing content, right? And we did this for like two solid years. Or honestly, yeah, it was about two solid years. And three. Like, COVID, high numbers, people constantly coming over, doing collabs. It was easy, Right. The content was pretty easy for us. I just would literally go live and something would happen. We'd react to Top Keck. Lol. We'd react to... What was other stuff we would react to? Top Keck, Reacts, like dramas. I don't even know what else I would do. Live stream fails. We actually used to react to that shit, yeah. Um, so... 2023 happened, and obviously I got canceled, right? And I tried killing myself. Great times. Mentally, a horrible year. Just wanted to die every second. Um, so, 2023 was pretty fucking sick, right? You gotta get to those lows. And I did a lot of collabing. I would say, like, if you're gonna summarize 2023, I mean, it was good content. I mean, you had the... Uh, collabing, and then it was, you know, the WoW meta was a really good end to the year, right? It was a lot of collabing, a lot of collaging, apparently. I don't know how to spell collabing. Collaging, we'll say collaging. And the WoW meta that happened, right? So, like, everyone, obviously, a lot of you guys who are older, liked the WoW meta. It was probably one of your favorite times. Um... 
now it's 2024. Yippee. Um, right. So obviously there's a lull here where like this was a bad year. 2023 was really hard uh, because obviously I got canceled. Community was shifting. Things got tough. But we had a very good ending of the year, right? The WoW meta, we were hitting 20 to 30k viewers. People were fucking going crazy over it. People were obsessed. We, like, made an entire meta for three months. Um, and content-wise, it wasn't a bad year. I just put my foot to the pedal. Like, I went really hard on collabing because I, I relied a lot on Emmy and Extra Emily, who helped me out a lot in that time, right? They came over all the time and were with me during those really hard times because they knew that that was tough. They were there. Um, there's the WoW meta. But then what happens after the WoW meta? 2024, the gym meta was big, right? That was a solid three months, you know? Like this was three months. And then this was three months. So, yeah, I mean, GTRP, but that's like a side quest almost. So we had this as our content plan, right? We had January, February, and March. We're all, we're all gym, right? But the problem is now, is April, May, June, and July. People are like, well, what has happened? April, we had like Pokey in them. So it was a good time, right? But the problem is, it's like, okay, what about May, June, and July? And we've done a lot, right? We've done a lot. But the problem, and I do understand this from community, is the last three months, it's not that I've had bad content. I haven't. The problem is, I just don't have enough to do. And I think the biggest problem that I'm having nowadays is what do for stream. Because I just don't stream a lot. And that affects the community, obviously, because people don't rely on me as much for content. They don't care to watch my streams. So, like, we've had good streams in this era. But the question is, what do? Because the problem that I think we've... Friday DreamCon stream, we're even. I'm terrified. Wait, what is Friday? Don't I have something to do Friday? Two weeks ago, you are saying you want to do gaming challenges. I do. So, the thing is, I want to do gaming challenges. So, do more reacts. I, I'll be honest with you, man. I'll be honest with you with reacts. I don't even really, I don't even know what to react to anymore. Dude, react. I don't even know what to do. Like, if I'm live and I see something, I'll watch it. But... I, I don't know what to do. <coughs> I don't. Um, the politics are pretty good right now because it's just drama, but, I mean, that's only the next, like, six months. When whoever's president is president, it becomes boring again. But right now, it's really good content. But wait till it's a huge lull and it's boring, especially if Kamala Harris becomes president. It's like, all right. Chained together with Emmy and Emily. So this is the problem that I'm having is exactly what you just said. It's always relying on someone else is exhausting. Like, I don't mind doing it, but I'm getting to a point now where I've done this for six years, man. I've relied on content creators and other people around me for six years, and it's really really tough to go live when people expect you constantly and I can't blame them but constantly collabing with someone else and the truth is I've done it for six years collab with other people but um no you're not almost free I'm not quitting yet but 
Pokey only goes live. Pokey only goes when she wants to. Why don't Pokey only what? Pokey only goes when she wants. Are you retarded? Say a proper sentence or I'm banning you. So the Pokey only goes live when she wants. Why don't you do that? Because I don't. I, I mean, I like. I like playing games and doing things with chat. I do. I like streaming a lot. I care about it a lot. Um, but one thing I've kind of pigeonholed myself into, and this is the problem that I'm in, is you have all this content that we've done, and what does it all have in common? It's all collabs. The thing is, for six years, we've done only collabs, right? And it's kind of May, June, July has been less collabs. We can agree on that, right? And I think the problem that people are having is like, well, Miz, you're just not collabing as much as you used to. But I don't want to rely on collabing all the time because it gets exhausting. And that makes it so I can't stream. Like, I don't and, – and I don't really know – you know what I mean? Like, the idea of, like, chain together. It's like, yeah, we can do that. But, like – then what? Then I have to do another stream with another person, particularly probably a girl. And it just, I, I'm, I'll be honest with you, Chad. I'm, I'm very exhausted from doing that for six years. I love collabing. You know I do. But to try to do four streams a week or three streams a week even, collabing is just very exhausting. And I can't really do it. Um, all the time. So... The thing that kind of made us stay afloat in these years was metas, right? Mario 64 was a meta twice. That was a way to, for me to easily, while I have no content to do, okay, for like six months to a year, we're just going to fucking play Mario 64 when I don't have something to do. So it's so easy for us to just sit there and collab or not collab uh, based on the day, just play Mario, right? Uh. Um, the question really becomes, what do we do? And I do think a big problem that's happened in this community is I've kind of catered to everybody, right? And that's a problem where it's really hard for me to figure out what the fuck people want because someone's always going to be upset. And the truth is you always want to do what you want to do. Like what should Matt, what Ms. what Ms. Kiff wants, right? But I just like to entertain chat. Like, I do like to entertain you guys a lot. So it's hard for me to figure out what I want to do because there's a balance between what I want and what I also want to entertain chat with. You should start streaming like soda. I don't want to. I don't... I. Here's another thing. I don't enjoy that kind of streaming. I just don't. Like... I like putting, making you guys entertained. I don't like playing games off stream. I, I just, that's chance. That ain't me. You know? People love watching Souls games. You only beaten the e ER so far. I mean, I could. This is hot. I'm eating food. Gotta cater to less older people. The problem with me is I cater to a huge wide variety of audience. Like, and it's kind of hard. Because you guys understand why I'm having a conundrum with this, right? It's like, live stream fails. You can't really do anymore. It's so boring. Top Keck reacts. It's hard to react to clips. Because the problem is there's so many different communities now and so many different people to be a part of that, like, it's a lot of inside jokes. So my, half my chat doesn't care. Like, you guys are the vocal minority. I'd probably say 90% of my community does not give a fuck about FaZe Clan and never, ever wants to care about FaZe Clan and is never going to watch them because they don't care to watch new streamers anymore. You know, they have their show, which is OTK and the people they've watched. They're not going to try to find new streamers, especially who are, like, 20 years old when they're 30. Like, it's just not going to interest them. They, they just can't care. And the problem with me watching reacts of 
those streamers is those streamers if i watch a content of them it chats is gonna be half of them are gonna be like i don't care it's like when i used to watch top kex or go on live stream fills you all cared because it was all the streamers we're friends with yeah i can visit alveus i think that'll be really easy and good content for me that's that's a that's a doozy we can make a whole series out of that I'll block it. All right. So, I just don't know what to do. Because the thing is with me, is I want to, there's a few th checks that I do or want to do if I'm making a stream, right? I want to do something that does well on stream, but can be a good video, right? And the problem is we've done a lot of gaming content recently on our channel, and it doesn't do as well. And it's kind of hurt the channel. Because for a million subscribers of my YouTube channel, subscribe for what? They subbed for collaborations and me meeting people, you know? So it's kind of hard for people to be like, oh, I subbed to Miskip for four years because I like when he collabs with people. Oh, he's playing a game. They don't care. So it's kind of hard. <sighs> so it's like I'm always in a weird conundrum on what to do. Because... The hard part about doing bigger stuff and doing a lot of IRLs and things that are like, uh, like even the Mario Tennis thing, like that cost me thousands of dollars to set up equipment, to do things, to make it properly good. And it's like, I don't even make it back on the stream, right? Because I just don't. And I know it's like, oh, well, you're a millionaire, who cares? Well, you want to be profitable, right? And when I'm doing these streams and I'm not making enough money to, to I'm going negative, like that's a problem. And that's why people like gaming streams or, you know, lower effort stuff. Because the truth is, um, it, no, my ads don't make up for it. They don't. I mean, they don't. They, they, they do when you stream a lot. The problem is I don't stream. You know, ads make up for it when you're streaming. Um, but I don't stream enough. And that's kind of the problem where it's like, I'm not sure what to do because someone just knock on my door. Hold on.
Hello? Yo. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's Russell. Um, what was I going to say? Uh... Stream content. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Like, I, chat, I'll be real. I want to stream a lot more, but, and I think the game challenges are probably the best way to stream more. But I don't know what challenges and what to do. Like, what, is there YouTube channels that you guys watch that people do a lot of gaming challenges on that are good? Ryan Trahan type of YouTube video on your YouTube. Ryan. Oh, this guy. A wild. Yeah, this there's one video that I video would want to do on stream. This would be sick to do on stream. A really long way in the last. last I started. Well, it's not easy to set up, but. Friend named Play. 24 hours in VR. Damn, wait, that is a huge, that is what a lot of people do. What happened? Ew. VR is outdated. Wait, this guy did the same thing. Wait, the holy fuck, 44 million. Wait, that'd be a crazy subathon. The metaverse ever. If not, click off of this video right now. My mind. I was happy to play, so. It's honestly pretty sad and boring if you don't have, like, a friend to, to do this with. Kind of like life, huh? Yeah. O2. Is that him? Yo! You know, a lot of fairly new YouTubers just casually playing Minecraft and getting good views with over 200k views. Yeah, that sounds like something I could do really easily. For sure. For sure. OTK SMP. I don't know. Yeah, I would want to do solo streams. If you guys have any suggestions, just put it in my community tab. I'll look at it. I mean, it doesn't have to be now, but... I am trying to look for stuff to do. Something that I can do, like, we can do together on stream. It's just easier. But yeah. The five cupcakes with different things in them is a good idea. I know it is. We should do that. We should totally do that. What's up, Donnie? Interested in any speedruns besides Mario 64? No, not speedruns. <sighs> the interesting Elden Ring DLC is an easy one. Maybe filler content. I could probably do the Elden Ring DLC. I could probably do that. You could do Pokemon Pokey MMO. Alright, what's up, guys? And what? No fucking for the base, like, bonus? Or, oh, I'm not trying to figure out where to game. It's very minding your own business. There's this whole aspect afterwards of, like, there's a whole end game. 
ultimately what's cool about this game. And um, I don't know. We'll figure it out. And run the back the war zone until you win. Yeah, that was a good stream. Pokey Rogue, should we do that on our stream by ourselves and do like play it until I beat it? Is it, or is it really fucking hard? Is it is it hard? A lot of you have been asking me to try out Marshadow. We did a star. I don't know. All right. You beat it in two streams. Yeah, but Titter's gay. All right, I'm gonna go chat. We'll talk later.